Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today's video is going to be an interesting one as we are going to discuss in detail about the three stealth UCAF program under development in India. The first one is Ghatak. It will be India's stealthy combat UCAF. Its design is based on flying wing concept which is a tailless and undefined fuselage concept. One of the most important characteristics of UCAV will be stealth. As per DRDO, 70% of its stealth will be achieved due to the design, that is, shape of the UCAV, and the remaining 30% of stealth will be achieved using radar absorbent material and coating. The UCAV will have internal weapons bay. In fact, many of its features will be common to AMCA project, which is under development by EDA. It will be able to carry various types of missiles, bombs, and precision guided munitions. Katak will have an onboard mission computer, data link, fire control radars, identification of friend and foe, and collision avoidance system. It will be capable of flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet and weigh less than 15 tons. The UK will be powered by a dry variant of Kaveri engine. This variant will have the core of turbofan engine. However, it will not have the afterburner section. The engine can generate thrust of 46 kN and has maximum weight of 1180 kg. DRDO is planning to complete its development in next two years. As per reports from the Financial Express, the full-scale prototype of Ghatak UCAM will be put under test by the end of 2025. Indian Navy is also interested in procuring the deck-based UCAV for the aircraft carrier and landing platform docks. The next one is SWIFT, which is a scaled-down version of Ghatak. It is basically a technology demonstrator being developed to prove stealth technology and high-speed autonomous landing technology. SWIFT has a weight of about 1 ton. It has a wingspan of 5 meters and length of 4 meters. It will have a range of around 200 km, service ceiling of 6 km and endurance of an hour. At present, SWIFT is powered by a Russian NPO Saturn 36 MT turbofan engine. The plan is to replace it with Manik small turbofan STFE engine at later stage, which is undergoing test on indigenous technology cruise missile that is ITCM project. On 1st July 2022, SWIFT took its maiden flight at Aeronautical Test Range ATR in Chitradurga, Karnataka. In the trial, it proved its takeoff and landing capabilities autonomously. The third one is Vajra, which is even smaller than Swift with total weight of less than 50 kilograms with payload and battery. It is being developed by the private firm Garuda Aerospace. The extreme small size and stealth design is going to make it almost invisible on radar. Interestingly, this UAV weighs just 50 kg and can carry a drop payload of up to 10 kg and bombs weighing up to 5 kg in its internal weapon bay. The speed of Vajra is between 90 km per hour to 108 km per hour. This drone can be ready for operation in just 20 minutes. The UAV has an operational range of 160 km and can fly autonomously or continuously for 6 hours. The UAV will be powered by PTA-7 turbofan engine, which is a 3.43 kN single pool turbojet engine developed in mid-80s by HAL's engine and test bed R&D center. The UAV is also integrated with a high-resolution day and night camera which can be used to capture and relay the pictures and videos of area under surveillance back to the control station with the help of satellite. During Defense Expo 2022, a Memorandum of Understanding was also signed between Garuda Aerospace and Lockheed Martin under which the software solution required for the UAV will be provided by Lockheed Martin Canada CDL Systems. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. 
with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector